leaders of the United States, Japan, India, Australia have pledged to pursue a free and open Indo-Pacific region undaunted by coercion at their first in-person to present to present presented a united front amid shared concerns about China. Leaders agree to cooperate on COVID-19 vaccines, clean energy and space during the White House meeting. China criticized the group as doomed to fail. Washington condemns in the strongest terms reported comments by a Taliban official who said the group would restore the use of amputations and executions as punishment in Afghanistan. Responding to Taliban leader Malino Oradin Trabi's comments to the Associated Press, Price said the acts would constitute gross abuses of human rights. Concern that sanctions on the Taliban would worsen a continuing humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan, the United States has taken steps to pave the way for aid to flow into the economically paralyzed nation. The U.S. is granting two licenses allowing various entities to provide humanitarian assistance to the country. branch of the Catholic Church in Canada has apologized unequivocally to indigenous peoples for the church's role in abuses committed at the country's residential schools. Pressure intensified, intensified this summer after First Nations uncovered evidence of hundreds of unmarked graves at former residential school sites. Intensifying volcanic explosions on the Spanish island of La Palma forced firefighters to retreat and authorities to evacuate three more towns, while airlines cancelled U2 a U2 a U2 a cloud of gas and ash, the biggest since the volcano erupted. No representative from Myanmar is scheduled to address the annual high-level United Nations General Assembly next week. A UN spokesman said, amid rival claims for the country's UN seat in New York after a military coup deposed the elected government. Prime Minister Imran Khan early Saturday delivered his address to the 76th session of the General Assembly of the United Nations, where he stressed on the need for the world to recognize that forward 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 when it comes to Afghanistan is to strengthen and stabilize the current government. The Premier also discussed Islamophobia and climate crisis. The Prime Minister drew attention to a detailed dossier on gross and systematic violations of human rights by the Indian security forces in occupied Jammu and Kashmir, which was unveiled recently by Pakistan. Pakistan lost 42 people to the coronavirus in the last 24 hours. According National Control and Operations Center, 2060 new coronavirus cases and 928 recoveries recorded. COVID-19 positivity rate now stands at 4.58%. Karachi police chief stopped the police from registering cases against citizens for not having their COVID-19 vaccination cards. His orders come a day after more than two dozen cases were registered in the city and about 40 people arrested for not having COVID-19 vaccination cards. In another major achievement, Shahroz Kashif, 19, has become the youngest Pakistani to reach the summit of Manaslu, the world's eighth highest peak on Saturday morning. Shahroz Kashif has made history by scaling Mount Everest, K2, and other high mountains at such a young age. The Paris Club of Creditor Countries said it was giving Pakistan another extension to service its debt so that it can dedicate its resources to combating the COVID-19 pandemic. The country has until December to make the payment, the club said in a statement, without releasing a figure.